David and Julie, Jason Devers is still being held here at the Douglas County Jail, facing charges of murder and weapons charges. And the county attorney says that is not going to change and calls Devers desperate. I'm very happy for my cousin, but it, 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 it all, this all never should have happened. From a jail phone, 35-year-old Jason Devers tells me he had nothing to do with the robbery and deadly shooting of Staff Sergeant Kyle LaFleur last January. In fact, he criticizes right, the police hand. for the investigation. Now I understand it was cold outside. They didn't want to freeze their butts off. But this man fought for our country, for God's sake. Devers says he was at the Rain Club and even saw his cousin, Larry Goines, that night, who was accused of pulling the trigger. But prosecutors dropped the murder charges this week because of, quote, witness issues. Do you need that witness for the Devers case? Uh, no, we don't necessarily need that witness. That witness, according to Devers, is the woman he left the club with to smoke marijuana and have sex. She never even was there on the property or on the premises or even in the area when anything happened. How do you know that? She was never there. How do you know that? Were you there? Deaver says they were in his truck miles from the club and never saw Goins again until a court hearing months later. They're, they're definitely supposed to drop the charges against me, but what they're trying to do is they're trying to just hold me until close to December to see whether or not I'm going to uh, trip up, shake up, or be scared. We have additional evidence in Deaver's case that we wouldn't be able to use in Goins' case. So again, they're two completely different cases, even though they're related to the same offense. I, it shows me that they're desperate and uh, they're trying to get as much attention um, as they can. Now, Beto also tells me physical evidence belonging to the victim is connected to Deavers, and his trial is scheduled to start in December. Now, Beto also tells me that they can still refile charges against Goins. Reporting live from the Douglas County Jail, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7. Okay, thank you.